June is Men's Health Month. Doctors say men can often neglect their health, leading to bigger problems down the road. Dr. Matthew Bessem from Summit Medical Group explains what you can do now to prevent illnesses and stay healthy. June is Men's Health Month. Uh, really aims at increasing awareness of preventable health issues and as well as detection and treatment of common medical conditions, really with education and um, men are able to find steps to really pursue a healthier life. First and foremost is cardiovascular disease or heart disease, still the number one killer of men and women uh, nationwide. For men specifically, of course, uh, prostate health. Almost a quarter of a million men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year. Um, the good thing is that if caught early, uh, it's very treatable, 100% uh, five-year survival rate um, when it's caught early. You know, they say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, uh, and there's so much to be said for a healthy, uh, sustainable diet, not these crash uh, diets that come and go. Um, but a healthy, sustainable diet and exercise. So recommendations are 120, 150 minutes a week of cardiovascular exercise. Um, and then obviously coming in and, and seeing your primary care physician and, and finding out what underlying things can't be seen or you don't have symptoms um, that we can identify early and, and help you um, live a healthier life. Men currently, um, see their physicians probably less than half as many times as women see their physicians a year uh, and perhaps consequently have a higher mortality rate for the same medical conditions that women have including heart disease or diabetes um, and so whether it's a, a macho thing or can't find time thing it, it's just super important to at least annually get that get that primary care provider to um, to see you and, and see what's kind of going on on the inside of you. Just because you feel okay and don't have symptoms of things uh, doesn't mean there's something going on. Uh, I know Summit Medical Group is uh, taking necessary precautions uh, and have lots of precautions in place to keep this a safe environment and are seeing uh, physicals and working sick visits um, okay. ongoing. Um, so I, although I understand the fear, know that you know, we're doing everything we can to help prevent any uh, problems related to that and I wouldn't delay.